to be here. I'm happy to join such a um, nice and warm uh, special conference. So thank you for inviting me. Uh, I'm going to talk about uh, some analogy between Noctua and number theory. Uh, and the main question is, um, uh, uh, is there any uh, nice analog in a three of the set of prime of the set of all prime numbers in uh, the rational uh, numbers? Right? Um, my claim is that the uh, so-called the planetary link uh, arising from the figure eight knot in S3 is a nice one in several uh, senses, uh, several senses, and um, uh, planetary link is uh, uh, the union of all crossed orbits of the suspension flow of the monotonic. Um, maybe I can explain a bit more. Um, uh, 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 suppose that we live in S3, and I have, uh, I have a um, figure item here. Then I have a uh, Seifert surface. If we push this surface, then and see, since it is fibers knot, um, I can sweep the exterior of the knot. Um, if we put a point on the surface, then if we push uh, this surface, uh, then we obtain an uh, orbit. Um, orbit. Then, uh, usually, it does not come back to the same point, but sometimes if we combine several orbits, then it comes back to the uh, initial point. And uh, we call this closed, uh, this, uh, uh, this orbit, uh, closed orbit. And in, indeed, uh, we have a counter, countably infinite number of closed orbits. Uh, I believe that uh, this uh, infinite, uh, and we obtain an infinite link. Uh, I believe that uh, this infinite link is a good analog of the set of all prime numbers. And here is my uh, the plan of my talk. Um, uh, I will explain uh, the plan uh, about, of the analogy. And then I will explain uh, the property of uh, this infinite thing. The analogy between knots and prime numbers, or three manifolds and uh, number field, was initially pointed out by Barry Mesa in his unpublished note in 1964. And uh, after a uh, long time, uh, it was arranged in a systematic way by uh, Eric Kaplanov and Alexander Esnikov. Uh, I heard that uh, he, uh, Esnikov was from uh, Kiev, so perhaps that's why I am here today. And in Japan, Professor Mushita uh, took this analogy seriously he initiated his study independently and pointed out several different ideas. Um, one of the most important uh, analogies about the uh, of the identity. Here is a very basic part of the uh, dictionary of analogy. And the left side is about number theory. And the I can decide is uh, about low dimensional topology. The <coughs> integers spec OK of a number field K is an analog of oriented connected cross 3 manifold N. And prime K ideas. In what sense analog? Uh, yes. In what sense you told analog? In what analog. sense? Uh, um, in what sense? In uh, the sense of Marimesa or Resin Command of Anok. <laughs> Um, uh, uh, I, will something? I will explain through this dictionary. Okay. Uh, it's um, not correspondence, it's just an analogy of notion. Um, prime ideas, uh, or a set of, uh, set of prime ideas corresponds to knots and pink. Um, a fundamental group, uh, we have a fundamental group um, that corresponds to a fundamental group. So, uh, the fundamental group controls the coverage or branch coverage. So, uh, that's one of the main analogy. Um, uh, 
I didn't write here, but um, we have ultimate duality and bumper duality. That's also very fundamental uh, idea. Uh, we have ideal group, the inspired ideal group, um, uh, this uh, pattern. Um, in topology side, uh, we have one cycles and one boundaries, um, this uh, boundary map. The ideal class group is defined by this quotient. And it is known that um, it is a finite group. In uh, both sides, we have uh, H1. Um, sometimes we assume uh, this group to be uh, finite, so that we can give them more energy. And we have uh, in this property law in class groups, and I'm going to class group theory, and I would have some of this. I mean, you can explain this analogy by an example. So, say, can you write a formula uh, or a theory on the left hand side and the corresponding theory on the right hand side? Oh, oh yeah. Um, okay. Just a picture on the left hand side and a picture. Uh, right, is that some example explaining the okay. analogy? I think it will be here later. Oh. Uh, and if you consider a ramification a branch, then we obtain more deep uh, something. Especially if we focus on ideal class theory and its analog, which we developed. And another very basic uh, uh, analogy is Yosawa theory and um, uh, Alexander Fox theory. It was about um, infinite cyclic, about an uh, infinite cyclic power. We have Alexander polynomial, Yosawa polynomial, and, and so on. Sorry, Alexander Fox theory, you mean the differential calculus? The, the... Uh, um, here, uh, I just mean uh, uh, theory of Zika, but yes. Um, this is uh, 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 um, uh, the ring of integer of a number field is a three-dimensional uh, space in the language of a fundamental group. That's why um, it should be three um, uh, We have uh, local analogies also. Uh, let A be a prime ideal. Um, let this character be a uh, local object. Um, and for a not in a three manifold, uh, we have two grand neighborhood. Median and longitude uh, generates uh, the group of the boundary of two grand neighborhood. Uh, we have analogy of uh, object and homotopy equivalence. In addition, we have uh, uh, an analogy of uh, vari uh, variation map. Uh, analog, um, analog variation map is nothing but uh, this induced map. Um, uh, left hand side uh, turns uh, uh, so called inertia group and uh, controls uh, ramification in local theory. In number theory, uh, this group is very complicated. But um, it is topologically generated by two elements. And in topology size, it's uh, just Z2. So in topology size, uh, local theory is very uh, easy. Can I ask a question? You are writing spectrum of FP. FP is a field. There are not very many prime ideals there. Ah, so it's so it's local theory. And I have one hand. So just one prime and just one not. Uh, class theory controls all 
Uh, this is and uh, I use this and just for and uh, find an operation. Yeah, but the same and in the language, right? Same and um and for and it is this and is just only for these two lines. Um this is and is different. Maybe Rho should, should have sub, sub index n because Rho is an f from pi 1 minus ln. So Rho depends on n. Mm -hmm. Yes. For any n, um, for any Rho from the exterior of uh, pi 1 of the exterior of ln to any <coughs> So it's true for, should be true for any Arbitrary group, yes. primary group. Yes. It uh, means that um, it satisfies uh, uh, the distribution of how they are big. I explain uh, what uh, it can uh, try to uh, test for as a good example. Suppose I fix I and define rho to be uh, this map defined by linking number modulo 2. Then the density of Kj is linking number uh, Kj uh, is 0 or 1. To our force and one or two. More uh, complicated example is an analog of critical extension. Um, uh, suppose that uh, uh, this uh, infinite ring contains a triple, then we have a well known subjective homomorphism from exterior of triple to the pipe. Uh, um, it's Fox completion and uh, uh, the Fox completion of the corresponding uh, covering space is upon by CC. Um, let H be any uh, subgroup of bar group of index 5. And uh, let H be the corresponding non regular subcover. Uh, then this uh, A5 is a simple group, the monotony communication is injected. Um, uh, we have an analog of Alkin's very old algorithm. Um, <coughs> the composition type of knots on its side is the cycle type of um, the image. And by chapter flow, the density of cages with each decomposition type is given as follows. This is an analog of very famous uh, ex uh, example of chapter phenomenon in a um, uh, textbook of another mm -hmm. Next, I'd like to explain another uh, infinite thing. Um, under my best friend, Mihara, he uh, defined our work by introducing the notion of stable genetic link so that analog of a class field may be discussed. We also get a homological interpretation for our framework. Um, here is the thing. Let M be a three manifold um, let a script K be an infinite link. And the link K is said to be generic if for any finite sublink F of K. The uh, first homology group of the exterior is generated by the components of K minus K. Um, it is said to be stably generic if for any finite subject L of K and for any finite branch power branch R of L, and the pre image is again um, is again generic link. And, and a stable generic link is a very admissible in our sense. So, uh, just remember stable generic. Uh, by using uh, then by using uh, the lifting property of continuous uh, K, uh, we may prove the point that the directly is a very generic. Um, 
in my first plan, I explained, uh, proved this, but um, it's very elementary. Um, I have only 20 units, so I don't prove uh, it to you. Um, there is a proof on the other two minutes. Okay. This is uh, almost final. So, um, uh, we call it uh, the planetary link. Uh, if L is a fiber link, then uh, the planetary link is defined to be the plus orbits of the suspension of the quantum um, If it, L is hyperbolic in, uh, hyperbolic in John, then a uh, mathematical theorem is a bit new than Thurston's in position theorem. Uh, it is a uh, geometric link. Uh, hyperbolic link is a good analog of the set of prime numbers. Um, I explain why. Hyperbolic uh, is geometric, so uh, our ideal class field theory applies. And um, uh, due to, uh, since N is a, a very theorem is a, established a, after a pi poly bots, uh, theorem for a dynamical, uh, uh, simple dynamics. Um, they are Arkin function. We have analog of Arkin function. Uh, for this design uh, thing, um, it is it should will be compatible with our class field theory. So we can <coughs> uh, uh, pursue our uh, study of analogy to analytic theory. Mm, um, and we have two more remarks. Uh, if uh, 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 if L is a figure and figure is not or vertex link or Borneo link, then uh, indeed uh, this script K contains all types of finite links. It's very surprising. Uh, it, it, it might be a support for, for this K. Uh, in addition, we have an analog of the product formula. Um, it was formulated by Kobai. And in, it is formulated in the uh, language of correlations. Um, indeed, uh, recently, Amish and others uh, defined three dimensional correlated dynamical systems and classified all these objects. So <laughs> we have a lot to do after this. Uh, uh, in case of my talk, I, maybe I should apologize because I, I couldn't um, connect my research to Moss theory, but um, Professor Moshita told me that uh, if somebody is Moss theory, it would be of great interest from a viewpoint of asking the project. And I have no idea, but maybe 10 years later, I can say something. <laughs> That's all, thank you. Okay, thank you. Let's thank you. Maybe questions, remarks, comments? She will tell you it's great. Good, good comments. <laughs> I don't know. From Ukraine. Huh? Yes. Oh. Okay. Any comments, yes, remarks? There is a book in Ukrainian, maybe 40, 45, on, on uh, number theory in Ukrainian, by Chibotaryo. Maybe I have he studied in Kyiv University. Yes, yes, he had a book in Ukrainian about the number theory. So, if there is no any remarks, questions, so let us thank speaker again.